Welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone's been modeling. Uh, hopefully you've all been modeling a little bit more than I have. I've been kind of busy once again with life. But um, the Scale Model Podcast has been doing well, been very well. Uh, that's taken up quite a bit of my time. And uh, a few other things, some model show stuff like that. Um, I still have to do a couple of videos and edit some stuff from there. So there will be some more content coming to the Scale Model Podcast. I just think thought I'd do a quick bench update. Uh, we're going to start out with these little beauties. These are the AK Interactive Weathering Pencils. Uh, those of you who follow the Scale Model Podcast know I've been looking forward to these coming out. Um, I got all of the, almost all the sets but one because they were already sold out from our good friends at Wheels and Wings Hobbies. Uh, they're in Toronto. Um, they have a good website. Uh, so as indicated there, I'll put it in the uh, link in the video description. Um, they don't have a full-on uh, e-commerce website, but you can basically select something, send them an email, and they're happy to give you a quote, and you can pay by PayPal, credit card, whatever else you want to do. So anyway, I picked up uh, all but one of the AK Weathering Pencils. Uh, these are uh, like a wax-type pencil uh, designed to be used wet or dry. I'm going to be doing a full-on uh, review uh, for the Scale Model Podcasts. It'll be available for the Patreon. Patreon supporters first and then a couple of weeks later it'll be released so anyway yep I picked those up uh, looking forward to trying those um, everything but the I believe was the dirts no dirt marks there's a set like for chipping the chipping set um, but most of these can be used for that so you know we've got the black and white set the green and brown set rust and streaking set gray and blue dirt and marks basic and metallic so so basically, these basically come in. Again, they look like pen standard pencil crayons, but a little bit, a little bit different. Uh, they're kind of a wax base, nice and clearly marked, so you can see exactly what color you're using. Good little indication. As I say, it's different than a pencil crayon. It's wax-based. I've played with these a little bit already. Um, they're quite good wet and dry. They're very subtle. That's the one thing I've noticed so far. And as I've indicated, I will give a full-on review of these later on in the Scale Model Podcast channel uh, for the Patreon supporters, and eventually I'll throw a link in. So those were the AK sets. I also picked up uh, some Easy Line. This is from Berkshire Junction Hobbies. This is people use for uh, model railroaders in particular, telephone, electric, and fence lines, but it's also good for aircraft rigging. So I know um, Wingnut Wings, this is what they recommend uh, to do their uh, rigging. So if one day if I work up the courage to get one of those kits, I'll do it. But I wanted to get some of this anyway. Um, and again, uh, Wheels and Wings had it in stock, so I grabbed a, uh, a black in the fine. So we'll see how that works. You got 100 foot with it. Works well. Um, also, uh, I don't know if they do this with every order. If they do, it's awfully nice. But they also sent me one of their sanders. In this case, it's a 320 grit sander. A little bit of flexibility there. So, yeah, it's always nice. Nice little freebie from them. So, again, I want to thank them for that. So, that's what's happening for new things I've bought. And then for other things, let's just bring over some slow but steady work on Pegasus. If you've been following the podcast. I'll zoom out a little bit so you can see that a little bit more. So I've got the base fuselage done, um, some XF54 put on it, uh, two coats so far, so it looks pretty good. Um, there'll be some weathering in that added as well. And then slowly but surely, we're working on the next step is getting these flight pods decaled. So they're still in sections. So what I did was I've done the lower flight parts pods so far. So as you can see, just uh, some two decals there. They've gone on very well. Very pleased with the Mobius decals. I think I've done better in my alignment than I did with Galactica. Um, and then eventually what happens is, providing I've got these ones matched up, which I probably don't. Uh, oh, look at that, I do. So the idea is you put it like that and this will be the underside. It's kind of tough to see, I know, but you get the idea. And this will represent the underside uh, flight pod and then there'll be some on the upper side which will be added to her. So yeah, slowly but surely working away on that. So that's basically what I've been doing. Um, 
as I said, a lot of work on the podcast. Uh, that's keeping me busy with Anthony. So uh, we're really looking forward to that, promoting the Patreon, things like that. But I still plan to do updates to this channel when I can uh, with builds in progress and general my general thoughts about the hobby and uh, other things. So that's it for this time. As usual, I'll always promise I'll try and do more frequent upgrade updates, but we'll see what happens. So thank you once again. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you and be well.